Okay, guys, so we're moving on to question two, okay? Let's look at the scenario, okay? Again, don't focus too much on the scenario because the questions often tell us what parts of the scenario we should emphasize. Okay, so this is the cost of fuel in South Africa is made up of the basic fuel price and other costs as shown in the infographic below. Okay, so we have the coastal fuel price and we have the inland fuel price. We see that we have the cost per litre and we have the cost per tank. So remember, a tank is just a number of litres, okay? Um, so your cost of a tank is always going to be more than your cost of a litre. That's important. We see that the cost of the coastal litre is less than the cost of a inland litre. Okay, but let's now go and look at the questions. So 2.1.1 says, explain why the inland and coastal fuel prices are not the same. Well, let's think about this, right? This is a bit of an economic question because fuel is imported via harbors, right? So harbors are at the coast. So once the fuel comes to the coast, right, it's at its final destination. It can be used at the coast. But now to bring it inland, there's an extra leg of transport. An extra leg of transport equals additional costs. And that is why fuel inland is more expensive than fuel at the coast because it requires more transport, okay? So I've just written here, Fuel is imported via harbors, okay? You can, you can make it a more lengthy if you, um, answer if you want, say, and then to get an inland, you have to incur another cost to transport it there. You can be more wordy than I am, right? But I'm just giving you my view, okay? So 2.1.2 says calculate the missing value S. So there's a missing value over here, S, right? So it's basically saying... The storage retail um, margins, etc., right, that are form part of a litre, how much is that when we multiply it up to a tank, okay? So what we need to understand is that each of these amounts here is just this amount times by the number of litres in a tank. So in order to find the number of litres, we need to say, what is 142,5 divided by 2,85? Right? And you'll see that whatever the number of liters is, is what you multiply each of the constituent parts of the cost of the liter in order to get the cost of the tank. So let me show you what that means. So let's say 142.5 and let's divide it by 2.85, right? And to see how many liters. So we're saying that divided by that. 142.5 divided by 2.85. Eight, five. So it is 50, right? 50 liters. Now let's just check that it's 50 liters across the board. So let's actually check it with this one here. So let's say 77 divided by 1.54, right? So say 77 divided by 1.54 and it's 50 again. So you see that each of the parts is just to multiplied by 50 to get its cost in a tank. So to get S, S would just equal, right? 2.67, which is the cost in the liter, times by 50. And that will give you the cost in the tank. Okay, so that is a interesting one to think about. It's literally just a question about scaling. Okay. So let's now go into the last question of this question, which is 2.1.3. So it says Jabu's vehicle has an average fuel consumption of 7,3 litres per 100 kilometres. Okay, so then it says Jabu stated that it cost her 50 rand more for fuel to travel 1,250 kilometres in an inland region than it cost her to travel the, dist the same distance in a coastal region. Verify, showing all calculations, whether Jabu's statement is valid. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's first, we're going to start over here. Okay. The reason we're going to do that is because we need to figure out how many liters she uses to travel 1,250 kilometers, right? Because the number of um, liters that she uses in a coastal or an inland region doesn't change. The only thing that's different between those two regions is the cost, right? But let's find out how many liters she needs in each of those places in order to find the cost. So let's start with the ratio. So 7.3 liters gives her... 100 kilometers in her car. But we know that she has to travel this many kilometers. So what do we have to do to the 100 to get to 1250, right? The way we can figure that out is we go like, oh, sorry. We have to multiply it by 12.5, right? To get from 100 to 1250. 
what we do to the one side of a ratio, we have to do to the other. So we say 12.5 times 7.3, and that gives us 91.25 liters. So that is how many liters she needs to travel 1,250. So now what we're going to do is we're kind of going to compare inland to coastal. Inland, we say 91.25 times by 12.32, because that's the cost per liter. In the coastal area, we say 91.25, and we times it by 11.94, right, to get the cost of coastal. So let's calculate those costs now. 12.32. Okay, so the answer there is 1124.2. Okay, let's see what it is at the coastal region. Right, the most important thing here is always to make sure that you type in the correct numbers, right, and round it off to two decimal places because it's a currency, and remember your rand value. So now the difference, we say inland minus coastal, Right, so we're going to say 1124.20 minus 1089.53. Okay, so let's just check that we did that correctly. Okay, and let's put that into our calculator. Okay, and I am getting the difference is 34 and 67 cents. Now, we've done all the maths, right? But have we answered the question? The question said, Jabu stated that it cost her 50 rand more, right? And we had to verify whether that statement was true. So we've done the maths and we say, no, Jabu is wrong, right? She's wrong because it's less than 50 rand, okay? It's less than 50 rand. And there we have answered the question, okay? I hope that was helpful. Let's go on to the next one.